It seems to be the year of the walking wounded. More NRL stars sidelined. Plus in Brisbane, there's a crisis of another kind. We pull that one apart, but wait, there's more. Well, finally, after more than two months without the greatest game, NRL has made a successful return to our TV screens. And boy, hasn't it made an impression around the world? Ratings have soared, superb footy played, and fans finally got their footy fix. Well, there's just two sleeps before the NRL Telstra Premiership Grand Final. Will it be a Raiders fairy tale or will the Roosters dynasty roll on? We're live from Martin Place for FanFest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what an outstanding display of rugby league from some of the best women players in the country. Hello, you're watching Wednesday's LA. I'm Katie Brown, Sam Squires, my partner in crime, back again. Yay! And when you take it by surprise, <laughs> we've got special guest Samama Taufa in studio. Yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many iconic moments behind us, but we'll talk more about you specifically. You've been out of the game for a whole year, mentally and physically. How are you feeling? I'm actually okay. I feel like, I probably should say it, but I feel like I kind of needed that break. Uh, I've got a fun fact for you. Two kilometres of beer lines Correct. in this stadium. I know. Um, 399 toilets. 299. Yeah. 260 urinals. Yeah. <laughs> Joining us live is our interim CEO, Andrew Abdo, on the line. I'm sure it was a weight off your shoulders after seeing the game kick off on Thursday night. Thanks for coming on Inside the NRL. No problem. Hi, Katie. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, it was, it was a mixture of emotions. We talk about Ruben Garrick, uh, Adley football. Does he usually listen to you? Um, not really. <laughs> uh, look, he's a great young kid. Um, he had a big year last year, um, and I think it got to his head. And now he <laughs> That's funny you say that, because I was over at Narrabeam last week, and I was a little concerned. We were talking to him about rookie reflections. Yeah. I asked him if he knew who the halfback skipper was, and this is what he had to say. No, he didn't put any pressure on you, is that? <laughs> Who's that? He's talking about his debut. No, DCA, he was trying Who's to... Who's that? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was the best! <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I've tucked him under my wing, uh, <laughs> giving him everything I could, experience, advice, and he goes and does that to me. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2020 NRL Knights champions, the North Queensland Cowboys! Disrespectful. Yeah, and they we know that Craig that. Bellamy has said that he will never they will not tell Cameron what to do. It'll be Cameron. Even if it costs them the, the best hooker for the next 10 years. They will not do that. They'll rely on Cameron Smith to make the, the best decision, not only for the Melbourne Storm, but for himself as well. There you go. Lucky you're not the host. You'd get us into so much trouble. <laughs> he's, he's a sweet or sour this week. I love that sweet. I love how we supered him um, very pumped up <laughs> yeah. as well. That's him though. That's just him. Normally, yeah, so. he is. No, very good. He's like a Labrador. You say that he's like, <laughs> he's like your favourite. You just want to pat him all the time. <laughs> all right, it was arguably the best game we've seen in 2020 so far. The Roosters and the Eels. It was absolutely sensational. The Roosters proved that they are just outshining in a class above. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from that match. It's all happening. If you're not a rugby league fan, become one. This is the week you want to be around. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. We're going to head inside. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you stay to NRL.com. For all the award updates, we will have the latest. Have a good one. Night, guys. See you next year. I'm hungry.